Hello everyone, uh, this is Morgan and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my inaugural video and I decided to start things out with playing one of my favorite games of all time, The Walking Dead by Telltale Games, which is season one. Uh, I felt like it was a great follow up, it was a great predecessor, uh, lead up to going into playing season two. So, here we go. Let's go play. New game. Standards fine. And there we go. The Walking Dead was released by Telltale Games in 2012 and received a number of Game of the Year awards and various accolades. It's actually really cool, a lot of the choices you make, and, you know, people remember certain things, and it affects the way the story plays out, so it's actually really cool. Um, it's a really awesome game. Whoops. I think it's cool that the game starts out during, like, day one of the outbreak. Or what I assume to be day one. Because we never get to see that in the TV series or in the comics. And here's Lee Everett. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. <laughs> he reckons. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you do. I wonder if they're going to the same prison as they're staying in in... ...the comics and TV series... ...and season... ...three. That would actually be kind of cool. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order big messy trial like that even if you was innocent a lot of what happened can't ever be undone I got nephew up at UGA and shit is already starting to hit the fan you meet your wife in Athens this guy really talks too much you want to know how I see it Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. You got that right. <laughs> I love this choice. Why doesn't he just say, fuck you? I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. And Flying you can tell Atlanta's going down the shitter as we speak. Or watch, in your case. Long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. <laughs> so he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. 
It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. That's actually a good, like, kind of foreshadow to... What a dick. But that comment about people going mad when they think their life is over or in danger or whatever is a really good, like, foreshadow of what is yet to come in The Walking Dead. Not just this game, but the universe in general. Or not just in the game, but in the universe in general. In the Walking Dead universe. Come on, Lee, open your eyes! This fucker through. The gameplay is really interesting in this game. You have to have like really quick reflexes or die a bunch of times and know how to. react or when to react. It's funny, he doesn't even know that the guy's, like, gonna be a walker, and he's still, like, all super nervous about it. <laughs> oh, shit. Survivor horror, horror genre. Don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. Wow, that did the trick. Clementine. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Oh, shit. It's right, because that shotgun blast called, like, all the walkers from, like, all around. I really love the Walking Dead universe, but 
I really think that this game is like light years better in the series. I know the series is super, super popular, but this game is just so much better in terms of storytelling and it's just a much better take on the world, I think. I'd never read the comics, so I really don't know. I know some about it, but not too much, but... This is just so much better than the, um... Than the television show. As immensely popular as it is. Let's check out what's in this house. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello. Anybody <coughs> home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> Lee has a good sense of humor. Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Some serious shit went down here. Cringe every time I see that. Nothing else. Oh, wait, water. That beep it. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. And anyway, he was definitely he's not bit. Feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. This is 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Aw. Sad. Hello? You need to be quiet. I'm 
I'm not a monster. Good. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? And this is the beginning of one of okay. the best relationships in any video game ever. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This I is love Clementine. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? And that's a foreshadow. Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> oh, shit. Two times in a row, man. Come on, Lee. That will do it. <laughs> Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Get out of here once the sun goes down in the dark with all those walkers? No thanks. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Anyone who knows anything about the Walking Dead universe knows that, like, going out in the dark is like a death trap. Southern. I guess we are in Atlanta, though. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you, though. 
Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some, Just guy. some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Even Clementine helped. Damn. I think if you choose to stay after dark, Chet gets killed. For just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. And now off to Herschel's farm. Herschel's one of my favorite characters in the TV series, but he's such a dick in this game. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. <laughs> so it's just you and your daughter then. What an asshole. He's his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? I'm not a fucking pedophile. Yes. Okay, Jeez, then. Herschel. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? I didn't. Well, now's the time. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. 
Where are you I'll be truthful. Car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. Herschel is so nice. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio. But Herschel's so delusional. Shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... All of this. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Like that. <laughs> that was a swear. I miss my mom and dad. The relationship between Lee and Clementine is really what makes this How game. Far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. It really is such an emotional journey for both Lee and Clementine. Clementine learning how to fend for herself and take care of herself. <laughs> and Lee kind of finding redemption and doing whatever it takes to take care of and protect Clementine. It's really such a heartfelt story and something I feel the TV show kind of misses. Hey, get up. Plus, the characters are way better than hey, those on a TV show. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders. And in it's your Kenny. Head. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we are no offense. There's a trap. Oh, God, in Duck. He is we so going, annoying. We won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, it actually it is. Work. I might name my daughter Clementine. The faster we get this if I have one, the better. One day. I build a fence. Yeah. Well, I need a Oh good God, friend. Duck. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool. Duck and I will hop to it. 
I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You having a nice time with Katja Clementine? Yeah. Katja. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't be huh. like this. Never gonna happen. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? Huh. It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... It's okay. It's fine. Rick's done that so many times in the TV series. I home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? It's a brand new world. Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks. The politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Huh. <laughs> I did not know he was going to go on that little political spiel. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... <laughs> Christ. Just That's so Kenny. There. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Ain't nothing. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. See ya. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. That is definitely not a good idea. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. 
Hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes it's kill, be kill. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out <laughs> Sean there. Sean won't forget that. How about yours? That's How ironic. You uh, not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Herschel. Giant asshole. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. And now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Then at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Duck. I'll choose Duck because Sean's gonna die anyway. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. 
sorry! Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help! I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! They should just kill him and steal his land. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. And on to Macon. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! I love Carly. Oh, it's Gwen. I love Gwen. That's the same Glenn from the TV series. He was so much better in like season one, season two. He's kind of mad now, in my opinion, at least. We can't take risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut, no matter. Who, oh, Billy. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. <laughs> They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States... Oh, shit. Fuck you and her. 
I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm Foreshadowing the guy there. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus! Take that, motherfucker. Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Serves that asshole right. Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Lou looks pissed. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Oh, that's right. I gotta find shit to make it work. Couldn't figure it out, huh? Yeah. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee.
you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Well, I'll keep trying. Yeah, give it a try. Hey, Connie. That guy saved you? Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that Walkers. guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I better get back to it. Yep. Just gonna make sure to talk to people so I don't miss anything. Have you seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. I don't remember them very well. I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite <laughs> the circumstances. Yep. What a funny conversation. Okay. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. 
Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Shh. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee. Damn right. Sense? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Charles. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment. When things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Seriously, another one? I'll give it to Lily, because she's hot. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. Well, you are a bitch. I've been before with my dad. That didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. 
Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him now. The music in this game is so good. I love his theme. I can't. I can't. I wish they released a soundtrack for it. For the game. anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I like Carly. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Let's 
door leads to the back alley. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What are your parents? Shh. My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Change the subject job? quickly. <laughs> What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. There's so many great character moments in this game. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. How about if I press here? Ow! Big owl or little owl? Um, medium owl. Okay, well it's not broken. Lee? Where's... Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Lee? I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. 
I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. That's what I figured. Where the hell are these keys? That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Pills are in there. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn and. Well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. 
What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. batteries in this thing what now you know that there are no batteries in that thing yeah of course I, I mean yeah no I can try to find some needs two thanks I wouldn't even really know what to look for the batteries for the remote but first I gotta do this how we doing good want to go have a look around outside haven't played this in a while let's have a look around okay before all this gets sorted out. I love Lee's reaction. I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. I can't reach that brick. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? Aw, oh, poor Lee. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. Right. A hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. 
No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AB. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All the <laughs> dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Clear the street. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. I can't reach that brick. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. It's a combination lock. Nope. Let's head back inside. Okay. Let's check to see if the combination's in the office, and if it's not, then I will go save Lee, or save, what's his face? Alright, 
I don't need I this anymore. In the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. What's a battery? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks, I appreciate it. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. That's what I figured. want to find this damn battery. Ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. This is going to be fun. It's Glenn. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. 
Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. I see. Okay, I'm back at work. Wait. This is where I get the axe. That 
can scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Take that, bitches. Where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? We'll be right behind you. Was rad. I love Gwen. I wish she would be in the game for from start to finish. Fortunately, he's on the TV series and in the comics. And well, I won't say anything else Hello about there. the comics. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. She's in trouble. Miss, we're coming in. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I. I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn? 
I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know, that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. I should put an axe in her head. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're <sighs> satanic. Satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up, please. Take it easy. I just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. And now she's going to call walkers room. from miles we'll away, and okay. we're going to be fucked. That's all just... No, no, no! Zombie apocalypse is a bitch. is so different in this than he is in the TV show. I think I like this incarnation of Glenn better. Here they come! Get in! <sighs> Fun times. Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and well yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Doug, help me out here, buddy. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Because now I have the axe, so I can break the lock. Sad, because it's like Wee's brother. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died 
for her. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Axe in his brain instead of cutting his head off. It's so much more efficient. Finally. Good job, Lee. Hurry. Holy shit. Wow. Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Make a choice. Okay, then. Give it time. 
Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. <laughs> choice. Such a gruesome way to die. Poor Carly. They got Doug. They, they... You gotta move. Do not touch my little girl, you fucking piece of shit. What the f Fuck, are you serious? God. I'm not letting somebody else. God, I, I love you, Kenny. Especially a good friend. dead. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Did you say Savannah? Huh. <laughs> Pizza delivery. Just like he said in the TV show.
Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You we got take it. care of each other. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. There was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Doc. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go. Oh, go God. This. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What are you fucking want? Larry? Like my daughter? Not really. Good. Stay away from her. Or everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Shit. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. <laughs> Me too. Got beds, Hoping for the got military water, to come most through. Importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. It's gonna be okay. Wow. That's optimistic thinking. 
And there go the lights. End of chapter one of The Walking Dead. And here's a preview. Thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bears. Fuck the best. Now we're gonna take what we're Who's that guy? <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Fucking Larry. I really want to bash his brains in. It's Ben. No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> Starved for help. It's a good title. And here are how my stats stack up to everyone else's. Did I lie to Herschel? Six, me and 63% of players were honest. Save Duck or Sean? 49%. Okay, so halfway. Loyalty. Side with Kenny? Yep, of course. Mercy give, gave Irene the gun. I refuse. That was the right call because I'm not going to give her a gun considering, you know, we kind of need the gun to protect ourselves. Save Duggar Carly. 76% chose Carly. It's probably because she's a chick, to be quite honest with you. The Walking Dead, a new day. Well, I just want to thank everybody for tuning into my channel. This is my very first video and let's play, and I'm going to continue through the first season of The Walking Dead by chapter, and then go into The Walking Dead Season 2, which was, the first chapter was just released within the last couple of days. So I hope you continue to tune in and check my videos out, um, and thanks a lot for watching.